some some rambling around gardening it's, it's impossible to avoid associating the word paradise with garden God, paradise was always seen as a garden but each architect in a way when their work is trying to construct their own paradise a, a glass box for Mies, a white cube for Le Corbusier, their personal paradises. 1970, Woodstock, Joni Mitchell composes in a hotel room a song about her paradise. We're stardust, we're golden. And we've got to get back selves back to the garden. I'll read that again. <clears throat> we're stardust, we're golden, and we've got to get ourselves back to the garden. That's a f phrase that inspired this old paradise seeker in 1970. Back to the garden. Uh, what does it mean? It means all kinds of cliches now. <clears throat> Prior to that, Richard Brautigan, the American poet, had, had written a kind of poem for a sort of technological utopia where technology and nature, if we can call it that, sort of meld into one in his cybernetic forest. Of course, he presents it as a paradise, but the cybernetic forest existed in reality in Vietnam. The electronic sensors on the Ho Chi Minh Trail to track movements of people. So there we are. Sometimes the dream becomes a nightmare. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the garden, there it is. Paradise. What's your paradise? Wow. How, 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 how do you do this? So, you put that, that piece of cardboard there, yep. And then you clamp it down. But how do you move in that? Oops, can you... Um, yeah. There you go. I think you need to tie this one. This uh, one here as well? Is that big here? Yeah, I'm mm, filming. Oh, no, I mean, this is too big Sorry, what, Leo? So you, you bring the... Um, that thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then you put the cardboard there, yeah. And you do what Spike just did, or first tie it, and then. The English, it is said, love nature. They cultivate their gardens, they watch birds, they visit flower shows. And yet no image better represents the English love of nature than this painting from the mid 18th century, uh, the cricket match. Never mind cricket, I have never mastered the rules and even less the game. But in this striking image, nature is reduced to a green, to a treeless, birdless, 
grassed area. And over this bland surface, people play, watch, and rest. In real life, to the amazement of mainland Europeans, they also lie down and love. They do this without order or premeditation. They do this with complete abandon. Here the English are at their most natural. They are like trees, birds and flowers. In fact, they are nature. They grow, they flutter and they relish the open air. Yeah, it's like the stamp. Nice. <laughs> it's like confirmed is the proposal. <laughs> So if Irene Scalbert, he sent a or sent an audio postcard, but he also sent a, a short letter to uh, Lorne from Irene to Lorne. The English, it is said, love nature. They cultivate their gardens. They watch birds. They visit flower shows, and yet. Oh, no, let's start again. A letter to Lorne from Irene Scalbert, London, May 2021. The English, it is said, love nature. They cultivate their gardens. They watch birds. They visit flower shows. And yet... No image better represents the English's love of nature than this painting from the mid-18th century, the cricket match. Never mind cricket. I have never mastered... mastered shit, I'll start that sentence again. Never mind cricket. I have never mastered the rules, even less the game. In this striking image, nature is reduced to a green to a treeless, birdless, grassed area. Over this bland surface, people play, watch and rest. In real life, to the amazement of mainland Europeans, they also lie down and love. They do this without order or premeditation. They do this with complete abandon. Here, the English are at their most natural. They are like trees, like birds and flowers. In fact, they are nature. They grow, they flutter, and they relish the open air.